going to learn how to make landscape drawings. So the first thing that I want you guys to know, a landscape depicts a natural setting outside. So this could be like your yard or the river or some sort of scenery like that. The other thing that I want you to know is that the space that connects the sky and the ground is called the horizon line. Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Turner. I'm going to show you guys how to draw a landscape this week. Um, so our landscape is going to be very simple, so we should all be able to try it out. So what we're going to do first is we're going to draw what we call a horizon line through the center of the page. So I'm going to show you how I do that here. Take one hand at the very edge of this side and I draw my line across. My line can be straight or it can be kind of curvy. Then, once I have my horizon line, I'm going to put a sun in the corner. Now, a sun, the, the shape of the sun is in a circle, right? So I'm going to try to draw a circle up here and kind of have some of these, these lines coming off to show that it's like the sunlight is spreading out beyond the sun. Okay, so I could add some flowers if I wanted, or I could add a tree. Those are gonna be a little more tricky to draw. So if I wanna draw some flowers, I could do that by just doing quick lines and then a circle. And those could be just like dandelions in my field, or I could try doing some lines around my circle to draw a flower. Anything you guys really want to do in your picture. Flowers are tricky though. You got to go all the way around with those lines. <clears throat> I could try to draw a tree. A tree is really tricky. So a tree is going to be a couple lines that go up. One line, two lines. And then I do a little line. So that shape is a rectangle. And then from there, I do some of these kind of squiggly lines that go around to show my tree. Just like that. There I have a tree. So maybe I'm going to add in one more tree. So you guys can try this. It's going to be kind of hard to get some of these. Um, trees and flowers in your pictures, but you guys are definitely welcome to give it a try. I could do like just a couple squiggly lines. So these lines kind of, they, they go in and they go out. They go in and then they go out. I'm gonna draw a few more flowers in my picture. done drawing my whole outline in black of my drawing, I'm going to color it in. So when we're coloring it in, we, we want to think a little bit about making a difference between the ground. This is the ground that we stand on with our feet, and this is the sky, right? So we want there to be a difference between these two. And the sky is sometimes blue, and the the ground, especially when flowers are growing, is usually green. So that's how I'm going to start. When I'm coloring in, I want to start with the sky and the grass. And then after, it will be easier to fill in the smaller parts, like the sun, the trees, and the flowers. So you can see 
of when I'm going around the flowers, I slow down a little bit to try to hit those edges. We have the ground and the sky and our horizon line. So I'd love to see your landscape drawings this week. Email them to me and I'll put them on our special gallery. Bye, Huskies. <laughs>